FIFA 23 has arrived to much acclaim, but we're sad to say that a lack of new features has left career mode feeling like the worst part of this year's game. It's not all bad for career mode fans, with most offline players noticing a significant improvement in gameplay and general AI performance. Difficulty levels feel more aligned, and the attention to individual player movements makes every game in FIFA 23 feel authentic and different. Unlike recent years, there isn't a set formula for victory, instead you have to adapt to your opponent and tweak your tactics and playstyle accordingly. Unfortunately, this is where the positives end. When EA were announcing their brand new features for FIFA 23, the lack of improvements for manager mode immediately raised red flags. On paper, playing as a real-life manager is a fun idea, but in practicality, it's a novelty that quickly becomes played out. The arrival of a transfer analyst promised to bring some elements of real-life data to the game, but the inconsequential nature of this feature has left us wondering why they even bothered. Our main issue with career mode is that it truly feels half-baked. Some of the ideas on show, from scouting to stadium development, are clearly clever and much needed, but their implementation is so weak that they may as well not be there at all. What amazes us most about FIFA 23 career mode is just how little has been changed. Updated transfers, kits and a few toggles to the overall menus are the only changes made and for a game that is asking for nearly £70 a pop, we think this simply isn't good enough. Career mode players, who make up a large portion of the FIFA community, deserve far more than to be sold the same game with a different colour scheme. A subtle new feature added into FIFA 23 career mode surmises the major issue that EA has with this neglected mode. When you sign a player, a neat cutscene montage will play, welcoming your signing and showcasing things like their medical and presentation. This feature on the face of it is a great addition, but the only problem is that it's one note and plays after every signing. If the cutscenes were varied then we'd understand, but the implementation of a single animation that constantly plays feels lazy and summative. We know EA can do so much better because they have proved so in years gone by. However, it's hard not to see career mode in FIFA 23 as a sorry shell of what could have been, and we're hoping for so much more in EA Sports FC.